Ladies and gentlemen, these four players are about to make instant decisions under pressure. Only the last survivor will win the game and all the money on Pass the Buck with your host, Bill Cullen. Well, I'll be glad. Uh, thank you. Hi, Thank you. You too. Hello. Hey. And uh, thank all you lucky people over there. Hello. By golly, that does this old heart good. Welcome to uh, our show. We are going to invite you to play along with our contestants. They're going to be passing the buck and try to stay in the game as long as they can. This is our first attempt. We hope you enjoy it. We have a feeling we're going to enjoy it. And let's let these nice people tell us all about themselves. Would you begin, please, ma'am? Hi, I'm Hi. Lisa Bennett, and I work at the Metropolitan Opera. Oh. Hi, Bill. I'm Steve Fisher, and I'm a personnel specialist. My name is Dina Taggart, and I work for an airline. All right. Hi, my name's Betsy Tooker, and I'm a page at another network. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bill Cullen, and I'm an MC, and if this doesn't work, I'll be over there. I don't care where he is, but I'll be there. He can count on me. You're not allowed to say it, but write it down on a piece of paper. I want the, I want the address. Good luck to all of you. You all remain on the show until one of you hits the fast buck jackpot. At that point, the jackpot winner stays on to compete against three new opponents. And so until someone hits, you all stay with us. Now here comes our first round of the first game of the first show. To survive this round, we want you to name a circus act. Now, uh, people only, names, uh, uh, no names, just the acts. In other words, no proper name, just circus acts. And we're going to start with you, Lisa. Ready to go? We want, uh, before I do that, let me say we start the bank with $100, and we add $25 for correct response. All right, Lisa, beginning with you, circus acts. Ready, let's start it. Man on the flying trapeze. By golly, that's a heck of a start. <laughs> the high wire. Good, as far as I'm concerned. Lion tamer. Uh, the magic show. Okay, now we've gone through one. The judge accepted every one of those. He had me a little worried on magic show, but they were all accepted. If the judge, for any reason, does not accept, you will hear a buzzer. At this moment, we have $200 in the bank. Okay, let's go, Lisa. The clowns. All right. The jugglers. The dancing bear. Huh. The freak show. The judge accepted that. Okay. <laughs> the elephant trainers. Uh, train dogs. Yes. Uh, the seal that plays the horns. <laughs> yes. Oh, the peep run around the rings with the... <laughs> our, judge, our judge decided not to accept that. <laughs> the day wasn't long enough to not... <laughs> To not Betsy, out of the game, Lisa, give me a circus act. The tightrope walkers? Tightrope walkers. That is duplicate. Oh. Uh, high wire had been mentioned. To oh. knock them both out of the game, Steve, give me one. Acrobats. Acrobats, is it? Our judge says yes. Both of you, come on over here, Lisa and Betsy. Okay. Okay. Lisa and Betsy, that knocks both of you out of game, but if nobody hits the jackpot, you'll get a chance to play again. So, root against them if you like. Okay, we have, we have two players left in the game. We have uh, $400 in our bank, and in this round, we want you to name something that is inflated. We're going to start with you, Dina. Something that is inflated. Ready? Go. A foot. Sure is. A balloon. Okay. An inner tube. Judge takes it. A beach ball. Okay. A dirigible. Oh, that's good. A basketball. Okay. A volleyball. Okay, now that takes care of all sports objects, things like that. Let's see what you do from here on in. Your chest, lung cavity. <laughs> Your lung cavity. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Steve. Go on. Uh, Dina? Um, a class. Okay, had a time there. That makes you vulnerable. Steve, to knock her out of the game and get a chance at the fast bucks jackpot, name me one. Prices. Prices? The judge says yes to that over here, Dina. And Steve with me. <laughs> okay, join the group. You were, 
We have just set women's lib back 20. <laughs> Steve, you win the game and you win $600, and now you're going to get a chance for a try for the 5,000 fast bucks. So step down here and try your luck. We'll be back here to give that shot in just a moment. Right now, would you watch this, please? Okay, we're back here, and now, Steve, you're going to have a chance to do some winning. And over here, we have three ladies who I might say are not wishing you well. They're sticking. <laughs> Little pins and little dolls root any way you want, girls. And Steve, here's your chance to win 5,000 fast bucks. Now, you can win two ways. You win if you reveal all the answers on any one line going across, or you win if you reveal at least one answer on every line going up. Now, on the bottom line, on the bottom line, we have hidden the names of four different things. On the bottom line, we have the names of four different things. And we want you to get ready to uh, name those right now. The things we've put on the bottom line are four dances. D-A-N-C-E-S. We want you to name as many dances as you can. The you name, the better your chances of revealing the four hidden dances. And if you get all four in 15 seconds, you win 5,000 bucks. If you get at least one, then you can try again on the next line with another category. Looking for dances and hoping to get four, you have 15 seconds, ready, go. Tango, merengue, foxtrot, rumba, cha-cha, frug, a waltz. You got one, keep going. Um, um, you got two, keep going. Uh, tap dancing, uh, uh, tango, merengue, merengue, samba, mambo, uh, twist. Okay, time ran up. The two you didn't get, you named two out of the four, the two you didn't get were the twist and the Charleston. However, you did get at least one. So that means you move up to the next line. And here you can win $5,000 by revealing three tools. T-O-O-L-S. I'm just making sure you understand. Me. Three tools. If you do that in 15 seconds, you win the 5,000 fast bucks right there. Looking for tools. Looking for three. Ready, go. A screwdriver, wrench, one, keep a going. drill, a power press, a um, pliers, tweezers, uh, uh, snips, tin snips, uh, screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver. Good, but keep going. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm glad you got the screwdriver. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, the first one you missed there, or one of the ones, was a chisel. The other would have been a saw. A chisel and a saw. But you did get at least one. So now you move on up to the next line, and you can win $5,000 this time by revealing two famous Johns. Men named Johns. Oh, wow. yeah. Tell us, uh, a look here. For a moment. Okay, again, to, to reestablish two famous Johns. $5,000 if you can do it in 15 seconds. Go! John Wayne, John Steinbeck. You got one, keep uh, going. Jo uh, John, uh, Susan, no, uh, jo uh, John Johnson, John Jacobs, uh, John, John Doe, John Miller, John... <laughs> <laughs> You named Johns? I never heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, you got the one. Now, let's see what you missed. The other one that could have given you the five, John Wilkes Booth. Okay. You ready now, Steve? Boy, if you're not, we're all in trouble. Last <laughs> chance. You can win $5,000 with only one answer by calling out the name of the hidden romantic gift. Romantic gift. That's what we want. Okay. 15 seconds, romantic gift, $5,000, go. A candy, flowers, a locket, an ankle bracelet, uh, uh, a watch, um, a uh, romantic gift, an uh, ankle bracelet, an uh, 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 ID bracelet. Um. Oh, time, time, time. You didn't hit the $5,000. Let's see what it was. For $5,000, what was up there? A negligee. You had a great idea, you just didn't get romantic enough, Steve. On the way up, you named four, so we give you $100 a piece, so that's 400 additional answers for you. And for you, it's second chance, so go on over there. You'll get a chance to play. Go ahead, everybody. You we'll be back in a moment. we got something for you right now. Well, although no one hit the $5,000 fast buck jackpot, we do have good news for you. Steve, in making his attempt there, has thus far won a total of $1,000, which is right. very known. And, and because... 
because of the rules of our game is you're in until someone hits a jackpot and knocks you out. Charlie's Angels have been renewed for another <laughs> weeks. Okay, everybody get ready. This time, we're going to start with Dina. It so happens that way. It's your turn to start, Dina. And in this round, we want you to name a place, a place. Now, remember this. We want you to name a place where someone else might normally say, you should really take off a couple of pounds. Got that? Just name the place where somebody might say that to you or to anyone. You should really take off a couple of pounds. Dina, you ready to start? Uh-huh. Okay, go ahead. Um, in a dressing room, trying on clothes. Oh, sure. I would think the judge likes um, that. At the doctor's office. Yes, the judge loved that. At a Weight Watchers meeting. That makes good sense. In bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> um, at a fashion show. Okay. In a dance class. Okay, the judge at likes to know. <laughs> at a beach. At a beach. Uh, practicing gym. <laughs> the judge is thinking. The judge is thinking. Our judge says no to that. Okay. To knock him out of the game, give me a place, Dina. In a steam bath. That is right, Dina. You got it. Come on over here, Steve. It's a change of place for you. <laughs> okay, Steve. That knocks you out of this game, but as you know from past experience, root against them, you can get back there. Okay. <laughs> hang on. We're starting with Betsy Tooker. <laughs> okay, Betsy. In this round, we want you to name a game played with a ball. A game played with a ball. Ready? Go ahead. Baseball. Sure. Basketball. Judge understands that. Volleyball. I like that. Soccer. Good. Paddle ball. $425 in the bank. Tennis. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Squash. Okay. Football. Okay. Tether ball. Okay. Oh, uh, beach ball. Okay. Uh, we got a buzz on that. I have, I, have, I have a feeling that is unacceptable because our judge decides beach ball is not the name of a game. A beach ball is a thing, but not a game. To knock her out of the game, give me something played with a ball, please, Lisa. Squash. Squash. It was mentioned. There are two of you now in trouble, and Dina, give me one played with a ball. You knock them both out of the game, and you get a chance for $5,000. Ready? Go. Ping pong. What do you say? <laughs> Judge says yes. <laughs> Come on down here, you two. Dina, ping pong was a good try. You get in there and hop. Uh, you got your chance to win $5,000 fast dollars. And... To you. She got rid of all of you in a hurry, though, did she not? Okay. We have Steve, who joined the ladies this time. It's a mixed group. You watch what's happening and root in any direction you want to root. And now, Dina, we're ready to give you a shot at it. You're going to get yourself a chance to win some money. As you know, you can name four that way to win $5,000, or you can get one in each line going up to win $5,000. If you re uh, reveal at least one answer on every line going up, you get it. Now, let's start on the bottom line. We, on the bottom line, we have hidden the names of four fruits, F-R-U-I-T-S. Okay. Get all four, you win $5,000 right there. You may name as many as you choose, the more, the better. Okay, so ready now? Be thinking, be thinking of four fruits. And ready, go for 5000 Pears, peaches, apples, grapes, pineapples, lemons, limes, cherries, strawberries, uh, apricot, fruit, grapes, fruits, peaches, limes, um, bananas, avocados. One more, one more. Um, uh, oh, God. You got three. Let us find out the hidden fruit. A plum. Okay, you got a one, at least one. You got three, and that moves you up to the next line. This time, $5,000 if you can name me three male singers. Okay? okay. Understood? For 50, in 15 seconds for 5000 bucks. Good luck. Go. Paul Anka, Tom Jones, Frank Sinatra. You got um, two. Keep going. Uh, Tom Jones, Frank Sinatra, um, um, Paul Anka... Um, uh, Tom Jones, um, uh, Bing Crosby, Tony Bennett. Oh. What was the one that would have done it? 
John Denver. Okay, you did get at least one. And now you can move up to the next line where you get $5,000 by revealing two, just two farm animals. Two farm animals for 5,000 bucks in 15 seconds. Go, Dina. Pigs, cows, sheep, goats, um, chickens, Keep going. hens, um, uh, ducks, uh, cows. Yes. Ah! Congratulations. Congratulations. Peter, you have just won $5,000. You did it in what was amounted to a 15-second spot there. And what's more, you've won the right to continue on the show and play against three new competitors. Now, before we meet them, let's say goodbye to the folks who have, until this time, played such a sensational game, and I mean that. We have in the, on the left there, we have Steve Fisher, our personnel specialist, who won $1,000 he takes with him. And we have... And we have with him Lisa Bennett and Betsy Tooker, and I have it on good authority that Steve is going to use his thousand to take you both out to lunch. There you are. Thank you all for being with us. We'll be back here. Give me a chance to meet three new opponents in a moment, but right now we got a word for you. Okay, we're back here in our big winner, and the first person to stay over is Dina Taggart, our airline employee. Dina, 5,525. You're doing well, and you can run it up. As can our other people. They stay on until somebody, you all stay on until someone gets the fast buck jack. But would you all introduce yourself, please? Barbara, you start. Hi, I'm Barbara Foreman, and I'm a research psychologist. I'm Greg Doucette, and I'm a speech teacher. Okay. Hi, I'm Ellen Tepper. I'm a computer programmer. Okay, we wish you best of luck, and as you all know, you can stay here till someone hits the big jackpot. In this round, we're going to begin again with you, Dina. In this round, we want you to name something that is slick or slippery. Name something that is slick or slippery, beginning with Dina. Go ahead. An eel. An eel. All An right. oil spill. An oil spill, yes. Grease. I'll buy that. A wet road. A wet road. We have $200 in the bank. Men's hair. <laughs> okay. Vaseline. Good enough. Great. Ice. 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 Yes, indeed. Uh, ointment. Ointment is. And back to Dina. Um, your hands when you're nervous. <laughs> Boy, you're romantic. Okay. Barbara? Um, baby lotion. Our judge takes that. <laughs> uh, glass. Not necessary of us that, according to the judge, to knock him out of the game, Ellen, something slick or slippery. Nylon stockings? <laughs> judge, hey. ju judge said yes. The judge, come on over here, if you would, Greg. <coughs> that, knocks, that knocks you out of the game, but you have a chance, of course, to get back in there. Our judge, of course, did some thinking there on nylon stockings. He was going back to his personal experience. We're going to start with with Dina, and this time we want you to give us a familiar phrase or expression which contains a color. For example, you might say a green thumb, which you can't use now because I did, but that sort of thing. And no names of people. We're starting again with Dina because that's the order. Go ahead. Uh, feeling blue. Feeling blue, judge likes. Green with envy. Green with envy, I like. Red as a beat. Perfect. Um, the air is blue when you, like, swear a lot. The air is blue. We use swim the air blue. to get blue. The judge is pondering that. He, right with his stockings. He got it. A blue moon. Once in a blue moon. 500 in the bank. In a blue funk. Okay. Dina? Um. Time. You can knock her out of the game, Barbara. Something with... Go ahead. Color. To blackball a pledge in a fraternity. You are right. And come on over here, Dina. Take your spot over there. We are down to two players. We'll be back here in just a moment, but right now, we got one of those words for you that we always seem to have. 
Just to explain something, if I may, that happened earlier in the show, Steve Fisher, our personnel specialist, who left winning $1,000, was buzzed off in a character in a, ca a category because he used the phrase in gymnastics. We had asked for specific places. If he had said gym, it would have been all right. Just to explain that, if there's any doubt, he goes with his $1,000. And over here, look, we have uh, Greg Doucette, who'll be, he'll still have a chance at this tomorrow if someone doesn't hit it up there. We have Dina Taggart, our airline employee, who's hoping one of those two fine ladies does not win because <laughs> thus far she has $5,500. $25. And to you, Barbara, and to you, Ellen, thanks a lot. You'll both be back. You'll both be back. I'll be back again tomorrow when we do the whole thing. I hope to heaven that you'll be back. So long from Pass the Buck. We'll see you right. All right. Come on back. Contestants will receive a Master Mechanic Shop Back. Picks up water or dry materials inside or out. Master Mechanic Shop Back exclusively from True Value Hardware Stores. And add color, character, and charm to your home with fireproof, inexpensive zebra. America's most popular brick wall covering. The last word in wall covering. Plus, West Bend Stir Trade, the automatic corn popper, stirs itself to give you bigger, fluffier, great tasting popcorn. Six quarts in six minutes. And the pilot ball liner combines the smooth sturdiness of a ballpoint pen, the ink action pen, and the elegance of a fountain pen. Stay tuned for The Price is Right over most of these same CBS stations. As the clock strikes midnight, we all know it's time to tell the truth with Gordon Elliott. Then come on down and start a bidding war on The Price is Right, only on Network.